What is the data telling us about this new variant, Omicron? Well, I'm afraid the bad news is not that much right now. We don't know much about its virulence, about precisely how transmissible it is, and even the data we do have, and I'm going to show you some of it, there are some question marks over that. We'll start with this chart. You might have seen it uh, around there. It's just comparing different variants in South Africa and how quickly they grew to become a big percentage of the total. So you've got a percentage of the total there. That's beta. That was the old South African variant uh, last winter. Then you've got delta, so earlier on this year. And here's Omicron. Looks pretty scary, doesn't it? A really steep increase in comparison to these other two things. But here's the thing. That chart depends on a key judgment, which is where do you start those lines? Is it when they surpass 1% of all of the cases, or is it when they surpass another number? And if you do it, for instance, uh, when it surpasses 5% of all the cases, pretty reasonable thing to do, look at how those lines change. It's exactly the same data, but it just shows you, while Omicron's certainly very steep, it doesn't look quite so out of whack uh, with the others. Nonetheless, that is transmissibility. But here's the thing, that's only based on a relatively small sample pool. There's not all that much COVID. Well, it's rising in South Africa, but there wasn't uh, a few weeks ago in comparison with previous times. And you get that sense if you just look at absolute numbers. So again, it's from the same data set. We're just looking at the absolute numbers uh, of detections here. So that's beta. And we're going back to last year here. So you can see that's around uh, the winter time. Then you've got Delta happening in the summer, the late summer in South Africa. And now look at Omicron. These are just absolute number uh, of detections of samples of, uh, of Omicron. And you can see it really is quite small. It's only about 100 samples that we have so far. Now, what have we learned through COVID? We've learned that those small lines can get high very quickly. When you've got exponential growth, which is what happens with COVID, especially if this variant is more transmission, well, that could go up really quickly indeed. But for the time being, we're basing this off a small sample pool. Just we need to be cautious because we don't know for sure what's going on here. And crucially, we don't know what's going to happen with this chart. Remember this relationship. This is cases in the UK. And you can see spike uh, last winter, so a very big increase last winter. And now they are really high at the moment. So cases of COVID. Now have a look at deaths. A red line here showing you deaths. It's on a different axis. So that line is actually a lot smaller. But I'm just putting them next to each other so you can see a real relationship, uh, a correlation last winter. But that correlation has broken down. You've got a divergence. And cases are high, but deaths comparatively low compared with previous periods. And the big question now is whether that remains the case for Omicron.